Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Snowcraft. This is going to be episode two of my modded Minecraft Let's Play series. So we're going to go ahead and jump back into things. So I've done a little bit of off-camera work, a little bit of work between episodes here, mostly mining down in my mind. So as you can see, I've got uh, quite a bit of materials that I've collected here. I've also expanded my storage. I've got some more trees that are growing. So we get some more wood types. Um, I threw some wood into my Coke oven here. So I've got a good supply of creosote now. Um, moved a couple things around a little bit. But what we're going to do first, well, what we're going to do first is we're going to harvest my seeds over here. Oops, ended up on the ground because the game lag. So we've got our different essences. I got a spot for them right over here. Um, that. Do a little bit of harvesting right as we begin. Always good to harvest your crops. But what I do want to do, starting off, is while I was down mining, I found a few things. Oh, I'm putting those in here. Um, I did find, uh, I found some redstone. So I threw redstone onto my pickaxe to make it mine a little bit faster. I also found a little bit of lapis. Threw that on the pickaxe as well, so we get some luck. I've also built myself the very the world's smallest smeltery. This is this is literally the smallest smeltery that you can build, and still have it be valid. Uh, you don't actually need this block. I just put it there because I had an extra glass. But yeah, if you're if you're looking to build the smallest smallest smeltery, it's it's this right here. Uh, it is valid, like it does work. I just don't have any fuel for it, so. We're going to have to do that. But what I found while I was down here, and I keep getting distracted, but I'm going to show you guys right now. I actually found some diamonds. I didn't mine them because I know you guys would want to see that. But we're going to go down here and we're going to take my pickaxe. It's got some luck on it. And we're going to mine us these diamonds, if I can remember where they are. Yep. Here we go. So we've got ourselves some diamond ore, and this looks like it's a it's a pretty good, pretty good uh, deposit too. Is it eight? It looks like it might be eight. Oh, even better. One of them's a dense. Oh, that's great. All right, let's see how many we get. So as you can see, I have no diamonds right now. Diamonds. Yeah, I only got one from that. One from that. Come on, this luck has got to kick in. Really? That's it? We're just going to get one out of each one. That's very disappointing. Alright, well, we do have a dense, so let's mine this dense and see what we get out of this. I mean, ten out of eight isn't... It's not bad great but it's not bad but uh all right well now we've got some diamonds so we've got a couple of things we can do with these diamonds and um ooh, redstone so i'm gonna i'm gonna grab some more ore while i'm down here a little bit and uh i'll meet you guys back up on the surface all right i know i said i'd meet you guys back up on the surface but uh i just found some more diamonds uh so we're gonna go ahead and we'll mine these see if we get some better luck this looks like it might be... This is a little bit of a smaller deposit. Looks like some of these other modded ores maybe overwrote some of the diamonds, but that's fine. So anyway, we started with 10. There's 11. This... I'm not... My luck is just not kicking in. Yeah, it's only a 3. And that's all we got. We'll grab some of this other... Uh, some of these other ores, though, will be definitely useful. And... I keep forgetting, I do actually have Vein Miner installed, so I can just do that. I, I don't know why I'm not using it. Well, I know why I'm not using it, it's because I keep forgetting that it's even here. Ooh, some more dense. Alrighty, so we're back up topside, and I found... I didn't find any more diamonds. Um, we did. I did collect quite a few more ores, so we're going to go ahead and... Throw what we can in here. So now that we have ourselves some diamonds, what can we do with diamonds? Well, 
the first thing I'm going to do with, with at least one of these is I'm going to turn it into a infusion crystal. And we do that by doing this. I believe this is the recipe. I'm doing this from memory. I'm wrong. There we go. I always do that. I'm trying to do it from memory. All right, so now we have a basic infusion crystal. This is going to let me actually get fire. Because now, if I grab out as much of this as I have, and I don't have any more that's grown. But now you see we can make uh, the tier 2 essence. So I'm going to need... Uh, let's look up here. Let me just... No, not fire essence, fire seed. So we're going to need ourselves four, four, four of the prudanium, prudanium, however you say that, four of the tier two essence, as well as four for the seed. So I actually need eight of these essence. That gets me eight essence. We don't need the crystal anymore. We do need... I have some base crafting seeds already made. So let me go ahead and make these into tier one seeds. And then we'll upgrade them to tier two seeds. And now we will put our lava buckets. And that gets me the fire seeds. And I get the lava buckets back, or the buckets back. So now that we have fire seeds, we can start growing some fire essence. And once we have enough fire essence, we can use that to make lava buckets, which will let us fuel our smoke. <clears throat> and as you can see, I moved all my crops from the shoreline over here. Would you? Thank you. I moved all my crops from the shoreline over to the uh, little farm that I have set up right over here. So, all right. No, that is not what I wanted to do. Water buckets are dangerous to have in your hand. Don't carry water buckets around, folks. All right, and then I want my infernium seeds back on the ground. Where'd the rest of them go? Where'd the rest of them go? Oh, no. Did they get washed into the cactus? They got washed into the cactus. Yeah, they're nowhere around. God damn it. These should eventually, these should occasionally give seeds, so I should be able to get that expanded back out again. Um, I do not care about the cotton seeds. Cotton is, I, I have my silkworms. Oh, I also automated my silkworms. Well, automated. I put hoppers underneath them. So now as they put stuff out, it'll just go into the chest. I don't have to pick it up. But yeah, I don't, I don't need that. And you threw it on the ground instead of in the trash. Go into the trash. Thank you. There, nature's trash can. The ocean. I don't need water seeds to make water, because you can use water seeds to make water buckets. What I need them for is to be able to make stuff like clay, because if you mix water essence and dirt essence, you get clay. So that's why I'm making water seeds. So there's two things that I need to get done today. The first is... I want to try to get, I want to start working on an actual house to live in instead of just having all of my stuff out here. Um, I'm thinking I want to use basically turn this into an entryway for a big like manor house that I'm going to build back in this space. There's plenty of room for it. And then the other thing that I need to work on is I need to work on getting immersive engineering up and running because I want myself one of these and these garden cloches are incredibly phenomenal because you put seeds into them and it just automates the growing of the seed not only do they grow faster than when you put them down here on the ground but it also automatically harvests them so i don't have to keep walking by and, and harvesting everything and you can just it, yeah they're they're really good they're really good and i need them to go the problem is is that in order to get them to work I need power 
and I need a few other immersive engineering machines in order to be able to build it. Um, this you build, these two you build out of the uh, engineer's workbench is how you get these, which means that I'm probably going to want that. I'm also probably going to want a, a um, I'm also going to want a metal press so that I'm not wasting materials and making these because I'm going to have to be making wire and, and plates and things like that. So there's that. Um, let me get a little bit more of my inventory here put away. Um, yeah, okay. One thing, though, before I let you go, I do want to apply a diamond to my pickaxe. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to boost your durability and increase the mining levels. Watch. Check it out. 900 durability, obsidian mining level. So this tool can now mine obsidian. Um, we could do that for like the matic and stuff. Oh, I also want to do it for my sword as well. So we'll put diamond on my sword. This is going to take the durability from 280 and the attack to from five, and it takes the durability up to 780 and the attack up to six. So it does a little bit more damage. Plus, it looks cool with that with that nice teal there on the on the blade. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get started working on some immersive engineering stuff, and I will. Um, it, it's gonna be kind of boring. I'll show you a little bit of what I'm gonna do here in the beginning. Okay, you were just yeah, you were just done. So I'll show you a, I'll show you a little bit of what I'm gonna do, or what I'm gonna do with it, and then I'll just bring you back in once we're done uh, in the morning. Okay, now it is morning. So here's what we're gonna do. In order to make the things that we need for immersive engineering, and I cover all this in my immersive engineering crash course video. So if you're if you're you know, confused, you want more information. I only want one stack. I don't want all of it. If you're confused, you want more information or anything like that. I, I go over how all this works. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take the buckets, put them in here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab out all four buckets. Now I have buckets of creosote oil. Then we're going to take this, and we're going to make treated planks. And I'm basically, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that for all the all, all four buckets. And I'll bring you back in once I've got that taken care of. All right, there we go. We have 32 treated wood planks now. Now what I need to build is I need to build myself windmill. And this is what we're ending up with, but this is what we're going to start with. So in order to build this, I need to turn some of those planks into sticks and then use the rest of them for that. And I need eight of these in total. So... There's really no quick way to do this, and I also don't think I have enough planks. So. All right, so that gets me my eight windmill blades. And the other thing that I wanted to show, because I, I kind of skipped over it in my crash course video, but these wooden storage crates, you make them just like that. These things are absolutely amazing. They're, they're chests, okay, they have a unique UI and everything, but if you put an item into them, unlike a normal chest, you break it, the item's still inside it. These things are shulker boxes. These are early game shulker boxes. They are incredibly useful to have. Throw all your, your stuff that you need to have, throw it all in there and carry it around with you. So nice. The only downside is, is that you can't color them. So I think you can rename them with an anvil, but you can't, but anyway. Let's get this windmill blade built. I am gonna have to build the kinetic dynamo as well. But now we have the actual windmill. Ta-da! We can put it down in the world. And it is large, and it is obnoxious. And only the central spindle has a hitbox, which is strange. So now I need to make the kinetic dynamo. Which is this guy right here. And this is where things get a little bit expensive, because as you can see, I need a copper coil block. I need a bunch of LV wire. I'm, uh, I'm going to work on this. I'll bring you guys back in once I've got it built. Again, if you want to see like step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that, I do have a video that goes over all that. 
So there, there'll probably be a card over there at this point in the video. All right, we got ourselves a kinetic dynamo right there. You know, and what's nice too is you, if you if you put this down and it's facing the wrong way, you can right click with your hammer and it'll rotate it around. So that's kind of handy. Uh, we need a place to put this. I would probably, I'm, I'm going to end up building an actual, like, windmill. Um, in fact, why don't we just do that? We can just do that right now. Let's see here. What do we, what kind of wood do we want to build it out of? I'm thinking I'm going to put it, I want to put it, like, right over here, kind of right here on the shoreline. So, this windmill is, it's kind of large. It is, it, it takes up one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks all the way across. What I almost always end up doing is I'll end up building multiple windmills, and I like to be able to put them all on the same the same uh, tower. So if we make this nine across, or we could probably do seven across. I think we can get away with seven. So if we go, if we one corner here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The other corner will be there. And then one, two, three, four, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take those uh the Tanya flowers though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. And then we're gonna run let's do let's see how dark oak looks compared. You really can't tell a difference can, in that, can you? How about dark oak planks? How do those look? No, I think it needs to be lighter. It needs to be lighter. Let's try birch. I know a lot of people don't like birch wood, but... Oh, wait, okay, what if we did birch here like that, and then we did dark oak there, because the, the, like the pattern, the texture is the same. Like all the planks have the same pattern, the same texture, they're just different colors. So if we did it like that, then we'll use spruce for the for the columns. Yeah, because then it's like it's like this has been weathered and, and worn down and the, the color's all been bleached out of it by the by the ocean blowing onto it. I like that. Alright. So I'm gonna work on I'm gonna build this up a bit. And um I think I've got replay mod working. So if replay mod is working, you're going to see a time lapse of me building this tower. If it's not working, then it's going to just be a cut to the finished tower. So one or the other. We'll see you in a second. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm probably going to want to go taller with it. Um, like I said, I'm, I think I want to change out this. But for now, I like it. Um, actually, there's. Let me do. Let me do just one more thing. 
more thing that I think it needs. Yeah. Look like they're actually like like logs that are stacked on top of each other. And then we got to do something with the floor inside. With this floor inside here. I don't know. This can't be dirt. Um, kind of want to use... I kind of want to use... Uh, Andesite? I think Andesite would look really good. In there? But I don't think I have any. But I saw a mineral tree. I was like, what? I would have grabbed it if I'd had it. I'd have seen one. I mean, what? One more? Let me place this last block. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I like that. And that that's kind of the aesthetic that I want to go for for the house, the manor house that I'm going to build back here. It's kind of this same general design. Um, I've used this before in worlds and I actually I really like this design and we can we can put like we can put some leaves and stuff on here too and, and stuff to make it look a little bit a little bit more natural, but we'll we'll deal with all that later right now. Um, I need to put a door on it and we're gonna work on I'm gonna do something with the floor inside. So let's see if I have do I even have enough stone essence? I don't. I have three stone essence. I do not have enough to make any andesite. Do I have any in here? No. Can I even make andesite or am I just crazy? Andesite. I can, but I need quartz. So no, I cannot make an andesite. Well, I can also use it to, with diorite, but I don't have any diorite. So, not going to be happening. Because, yeah, weirdly, I have found, like, no andesite and no diorite. All right, whatever. Let's get a door. Let me get a door. Uh, we're just going to go ahead with a wooden door. Material. I don't remember materials. I'm not remembering materials. I don't know what these look like once you actually make them. Okay, we want spruce. I want a spruce door. I like the spruce doors. Take our spruce door. We're going to put it like that. There we go. I like that. I, I, always, I really like the spruce door. I just, I, I like it. So, all right. Well, anyway, that gives me my windmill tower here. And like I said, I'm probably going to end up raising this. But for right now, it's fine to be where it's at. Uh, I like the birch for the floor up here. I'm not, sh I'm not crazy about this wall. That'll probably end up changing. Um, these are bottom slabs too, so you don't have to worry. Well, you don't have to worry about mobs spawning up here. And then obviously I have a light source right there. We don't have to worry about. We we have not made a mob farm. Oh, we've got quite a few crops grown. Like everybody. All right, we got some mystical fertilizer too. That's awesome. Uh, this stuff works like bone meal for mystical agriculture crops. You can't you can't bone meal any of these crops normally, but you can use the mystical fertilizer. So that's good. All right, with that done, um, now that we have power generating, the next thing that we really need to work on is we need to get our immersive engineering stuff going, and that's going to be. I don't remember. I'm trying to decide what order I want to do this in. I think, because I think I need steel to make the press. I, I, need, a, I need my uh, engineer's manual. 
Okay, I don't already have one. I do actually have a bunch of extra books. So I need my engineer's manual. So in order to get an engineer's manual, we need a book, we need a cobblestone, and we need a stick. I don't need all this dirt that I have in my inventory. I don't need most of the stuff that I have in my inventory. Lever, book, engineer's manual. Metal press is made with, yeah. So we need steel in order to make a metal press, which means that I need to make a blast furnace. But in order to make a blast furnace, I need to go into the nether. So that's going to be a little bit down the road. I do need a metal press. Oh. Yeah, because in order to make a blast furnace, blast brick. So in order to make these guys, and I did change the recipe. So the default recipe is this guy right here, but it uses um, a uh, blaze, blaze powder in the center. And A, it doesn't really make sense to me. Like, what, how, why would you use blaze powder in the middle? A magma block makes much more sense. Uh, it's also, these are a little bit easier to get, but you still got to go to another. I don't, unless I happen to find a ruined portal somewhere. And I, do, I don't remember if ruined portals generate in 112 or if they're purely a, a later, a later, uh, a later, a late, bleh. do ruined portals generate in 112? I don't remember. I don't know. Let me clean up my inventory a little bit. Okay, inventory is cleaned out. So we need to work on building some more immersive engineering stuff. And like I said, I want to get, I want to get the garden cloche built. So in order to build a garden cloche, I need an engineer's workbench. Engineer's workbench is <clears throat> this guy right here. So in order to make the workbench, I need to make a fence, I need some more planks, and I need a crafting table. So I do not have any treated planks already. So that's fine because we've got plenty of wood that I've stuck over here. Just so much clicking. Alright, so we got that. We got a fence right there, workbench right there. That gives me the engineer's workbench. And I think we're gonna put this in here. Let's like let's make this into like a little workshop. Put the workbench. We can put it right right there. It'll fit right there. And you can still access it because like it doesn't hurt anything. Now the problem is that I need to make blueprints. Unfortunately, in order to make these blueprints, um yeah, I need lapis. Well, I need blue dye. As you can see, there's a bunch of different ways we can get blue dye. The problem is getting the blue dye. And I need steel. So we gotta go to the nether. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's the long and short of it. Uh, we need to go to the nether. So there is a, there's a surface lava pool uh, not too far over in that direction. That's where I got my other buckets of lava. So I think we're going to head over there. I'm going to grab some lava. We'll bring it back over here. Um, actually, I think what I'm going to... We'll do... I'll do this. I'll do this the smart way. I'm going to go take a water bucket over there. And we'll just pour it on the lava. And then we'll harvest it. Since I can harvest obsidian now with my bronze pickaxe. And, um... Yeah, but I'll, I'll be... I'll, Meet you guys once I'm over there. Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta sleep. It's getting dark, so I'll see you guys when I'm over there. All right. So here's that lava pool I was talking about. And as you can see, I've, I've already s stolen some lava out of it. Uh, we are gonna need to get down there though. Uh, let me. Let's see, this looks like the safest over here. Go. Uh, I'm gonna scoop up some more lava. And we'll go ahead and... Make a mess. Mm. 
Why do I hear zombies? Uh, I see them on the mini map there too, but anyway, let's go ahead and grab this obsidian. And it's still going to take a while to mine, even with the uh, the speed boost. And then it, it mines that right away. It's obnoxious. Okay. So just in case we've got more lava underneath, I'm not going to stand on top of these blocks. Yeah, see, we've got more right there. So there's more lava over there. That's part of why we're hearing plops still. Anyway, I'm going to collect this uh, obsidian up, and I'll meet you guys back over at my base. We'll see you then. Alrighty, we're back, and I did, I grabbed basically all the lava, I turned it into obsidian, so I have some extra now. We can actually make use of that here in a little bit. I also went ahead and grabbed some buckets, filled them up with lava, so we actually have some fuel for our smeltery over here. Uh, this looks dangerous as hell, but you can just click right into the tank there we go uh, that'll hold four buckets worth but I only grabbed three and now we can do is we can start expanding this and I'm actually gonna start working at that while I'm doing some other things because it's gonna take a little while to empty out but if we take some cobblestone and we toss it in you can put it in like that or you can put it in through here That'll melt and that'll actually make seared stone. And then we can use that to expand the smeltery. And then we'll get all this stuff moved over. While we're waiting for that to melt, now that I have this obsidian, we're going to find a good place to put this portal. I think we'll put it over here. Because I don't really want it, you know, portal noises at me all the time. And we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get pigment coming out of it, too, fairly regularly. And I believe, I don't remember, but I believe I have a nether spread mod installed. So when I light this, it's basically going to start slowly changing the landscape around it into netherrack. And I don't have the quartz. You need quartz to be able to turn that off. If I still have that mod installed, I don't remember if I do or not. And I did just think of one thing. Um, I want to bring some spare obsidian. You know, just, just in case it turns out that our nether portal becomes inaccessible or something like that. Then at least we can get back to the overworld. Oh, and also, before I go, just in case we have to come back through another portal, we can do, we can set ourselves a waypoint. It's going to be home. I want it to be purple. There. There we go. Now if we do have to come back through a different portal, we'll have that nice little marker that'll show up to get us back home. So let's go ahead and open the nether portal. Yep, and see it wants quartz blocks placed around the portal to stop the spread. I don't have any quartz blocks, so we'll just have to go in and try and get something from the other side. Holy shit. You've got to be kidding me. We loaded straight into a nether fortress? No way. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that in the video uncut, even though there's a big delay. I, I, you never see this. We, you never see this. All right. Well, I mean, that's, that's great. Let me mark my portal location. So, I mean, I guess we're in another fortress. We might as well explore it. And it died. Oh, give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. God damn it. This is down there. Hey, he's dead. Like, it, it's cool, like, it's awesome that I'm, that I found a fortress right away, but it kind of sucks because the things that I need do not spawn in fortresses. 
Ooh. Saddle. That is awesome. So we can take this. I'm immune to burning. 50% resistance to fire damage. Doesn't protect against lava. So if you fall in lava, you're still going to take damage. And it gets me some more hearts, which is nice. Ooh, lava charm. That's really good. Diamond horse armor. Lava charm makes me immune to lava. What else did I get? Ooh, plus one armor. Let's see. Uh, honestly, let's just throw that out. Yeah, you didn't even drop anything. It is it to get? some nether quartz which we need Our soul stone we need that too come on dude you gotta quit the game is terrible Spawned. We just got out of range. I really should just make a bow so I can shoot you. Or just like actually despawn, like one or the other. Oh, hey, check this out. <laughs> oh, we still took a fuck oh, yeah. Hey, bad dog, bad dog. I have no more food. Need like nine of these. Uh -huh. uh, how far are you? I really don't want to fall down. I don't want to go in here because it's gonna hurt. Aha! Not if I'm quick with the shift. Wait, what? Why aren't these hurting me? It's weird. Magma blocks are not burning me, and I don't know why. Do magma blocks not damage you in this version? No, I'm just dumb. Immune to burning. The count is burning. That's why I can walk on them just fine. Ooh, I don't like those things. Okay, I need out of here. Uh, you don't work in the nether, right? 
Actually, let's see. Can we kill this ghast? Hey, <coughs> notice me. Here. Did not get a gas here. I'll just call him the fire. No gas here, but I did get an advancement. Alright, we're just going to build ourselves another nether portal and get out of that way. We can use the uh, magic mirror to get back home. And we go. out in the ocean, floating in the air. Well, we don't have to worry about this portal corrupting anything. Okay, next thing that we need to work on is we need to start building these. And we're going to need nine recipes in order to get the 27 blast bricks that we need. So, I'm going to need quite a few. Um, all right, we got all that we need. Now we just grab all 27 of these guys. I'm also going to need my engineer's hammer, which I'm going to put in here. Yep, there it is. And then we will go ahead and set up our blast furnace. And uh, you just keep getting moved. This isn't going to be the permanent place for either one of these things, uh, to be honest. Both of them have an advanced version, which is... It's not really bigger, but it takes up more space. Doesn't make sense, but it does. All right, there we go. Now we can start making steel. So now this is going to make me steel. And this should be plenty of steel that we can get ourselves a metal press set up. Once we have a metal press set up, we'll be able to build the engineers. We'll be able to build the metal press, and then we'll be able to build the components for the garden cloche, which will let me get all of these plants put into automation so they can just start generating resources for me and I don't have to keep um, walking by and harvesting them. They're going to grow a lot faster. It's going to be better. All the way around, it's going to be better. All right. Honestly, I think this is probably a good place to end things for this episode. Uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to do a bunch of off-camera stuff um, between episodes. I'm going to try to get myself that metal press finished building. I'm going to try to get uh, some wiring run and boring stuff you guys don't really want to watch me do it uh if i'm wrong and you do actually want to watch me do this kind of stuff let me know let me know what you want to watch and then i can do that for you but um, otherwise i'm just going to work on improving my base around here and i will show you what i do in the next time so until then i hope you have yourselves a wonderful day evening whatever time of day it is for you and i will see you in the next episode happy minecrafting <laughs>